Hey guys, good morning. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It is 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Today, I want to talk about the American flag in America. Um, as usual, this early this morning, 2, 3 o'clock, I was going through the news feeds, um, different news feeds, the Washington Post, the Guardian. There's a story on the opening game of the WNBA, the, uh, or the the women's basketball, w, WNBA, um, the opening game uh, between the New York Liberty and the Seattle Storm. And it talked about how both teams walked off the court during the national anthem. And uh, I stopped and I thought, I thought about that. Um, as you guys know, I've been a, I have been a complete fan of Colin Kaepernick for for since since his name first appeared. Um, I'm one of the people that understand that it, it's not about the anthem, but but I gave this some more thought. So I thought about this story about the, the girls walking off the court, or the women, I'm sorry, the women walking off the court. And I thought about, I, I was, it didn't make me angry. I understood it right from the, right from the get-go. I understood it. The, the women later explained that this, this season is about Breonna Taylor, the EMT that was murdered in her own home by the police. Um, an innocent woman murdered in her own home. Um, so they're dedicating this season to Brianna Taylor. Say her name. I can understand that completely. But I started thinking more about... You're going to have two sides on this. You're going to have the side that's... You're going to say that this, is, this, is a, this is anti-American, anti-patriotic. Anti These people are far left of it, radicals and anarchists. And I started thinking about the American flag. I think I talked about this before months ago about America and the American flag and what the American flag means right now. Am I proud of the American flag? Am I proud of America right now? No, no. Would I fly the American flag in front of my house right now? Probably not. When I see it, occasionally I'll see a truck driving down the road. Big, it's always a big four-wheeler with the flag, the American flag flying out behind it. And I know right off the bat what this person is for. White power, basically. Let's, let's, just, let's just say, let's just, white power and Trump, let's just call it what it is. When I see, uh, I see, I was walking, I was going on my walk around town and I see American flag here, American flag there. Uh, God bless America. I love America. Right off the bat, I know who lives in that house. It's a Trump supporter. Am I proud of America right now? No, absolutely not. As Trump, as, as we're, we're now talking about martial, veritable martial law. I did a video yesterday talking about, and I've talked about this on other media platforms too, um, calling Trump supporters authoritarian really isn't even an insult. It, it isn't something scary to them. I, they, they, they kind of uh, like it. They kind of like the name, authoritarian, authoritarianism, law and order. As I was walking through my town yesterday, I saw there was one new uh, Trump 2020 sign out on a front lawn. It was kind of a black and white. It was a very basic kind of stark sign. Trump 2020, law and order, law and order. Stomp down, clamp down, pay either a patriot or get out or go to jail or send troops to your house and pull you out. Am I proud of America now? No, not at all. Um, I, I'm not proud of America for a lot of reasons. Uh, I'm not, it's more than Donald Trump. It, I'm not proud of the people. Once Trump's gone, there's still going to be these people that aspired towards authoritarianism. The people that heard the words martial law, authoritarian, even dictatorship, and as long as it was Donald Trump, they were all, they're all right with this. Am I proud of these people? No. These people that are blaming Dr. Fauci 
Yes, that's how I say Dr. Fauci. Don't bother correcting me. These people, there, there's this now on Sinclair Media is talking about putting out this video demonizing doc, Dr. Fauci, the leading health expert in the world. Um, this is where we're at in America. Um, Kellyanne Conway comes on, and, and now this is just unbelievable, the, the, the lies. This is the pre, one of the president's mouthpieces coming out and saying that the governors, it's all the governor's fault now. That Trump tried to tell him to slow down, but the, the, the states wanted to do it their way, federalism. And they, they went about it a little too fast. She's flipping the script. She's blatantly lying. And with, with no allegiance, the, the, the governors had Trump's back. And now that things aren't looking that good, the Trump, Trump was wrong. The Republicans, Trump, they were, all, they were all wrong. They all opened too early. No allegiance. Trump saying that's, it was their fault. Oh, well, he's, he has his mouthpiece doing it now. But that kind of, that kind of person, that, that's not an American to me. No allegiance, no respect, no, you can't, tr you know, you can't trust these people. Um, the anti-intellectualism across the country, where intelligence is bad. T Trump talking about these the universities are bad because they're bastions of, of the radical left. Learning is bad. Scientists bad. Authoritarianism, dictator, martial law, good. Law and order, good. Abide. You know, this is George Orwell, man. It's here. It's, it's, it's here in all its terror, horror. It's here. Am I proud of America now? No. No. Not at all. I'd walk out on the national anthem, too. This, this isn't America I signed up for. This isn't. This isn't the America I want. I'm not proud of a lot of Americans right now. Look at us on the world stage right now. Are you proud to be an American? There's another article. I think it's in the Guardian on uh, Ireland. They don't need. They don't. Just one of the many countries that do not want Americans there. They don't care about your money. They don't want you there. They don't want your ignorance. They don't want your anti-intellectualism. They they don't want your virus spreading ass anywhere near their country they don't care how much money you got um the rest of the country watching our president brag about remembering five simple words person woman man camera tv unbelievable our president bragging about taking a basic dementia test as if he's a genius look what i can do it's amazing. What an embarrassment. You know, am I proud of my country right now? No, absolutely not. I'm, a, I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed right now. I'm embarrassed of a, of a good portion of my fellow Americans. I'm embarrassed of my president. I'm embarrassed of his policies. I'm embarrassed of the way that a good part of this country has handled this virus. I'm embarrassed of the selfishness of people that... that just are too uncomfortable. I don't breathe good wearing a mask. Look where we're at. Almost 70,000 new cases again yesterday. Over 4 million infected. We're heads and tail. We're just heads and shoulders above the whole rest of the world. In ignorance, we're still just denying. Want to send the kids back to school. Am I proud of America? No. Absolutely not. I love the country. I love our history. I love the way our, our inventiveness, our tenacity. I love the way the country used to be. Do I love our country now? No. I'm ashamed of it. I'm embarrassed of it. Um, it's just gotten so much worse this year. Talking about sending federal troops to, to Chicago, to Portland, to Atlanta. And then I see this sign on, on, a, on the front yard yesterday. Law and order. Trump 2020. Law and order. Stomp them down. Authoritarian. 
That's not my America, man. Am I proud of that? No. And, you know, am I proud of them, that American flag flying in that guy's front yard? No. That's not my, that's not my America, man. So, that's how I feel today. Um, do I blame those NBA players from uh, the, the, girl, the women walking off the court? Those two teams, the Seattle Storm and the New York Liberty, the women walking off the court as soon as the National Anthem played? Not at all. I would have joined them. And I didn't even mention the civil unrest, the, uh, the way that the African-American community is being treated. Or has been treated. Has been treated for hundreds of years. The way that a good portion of this country doesn't even get it. And doesn't even want to get it. They figure ah, they just, if, they just, if they just weren't breaking the law, they wouldn't get their, their butts kicked. They just weren't stealing, robbing, looting. Law and order. No. It just reminds me so much of Germany. Uh, just blaming... You know, first we were blaming the, the, the Muslims. Now, I'm not proud. No. I, I would have walked, uh, I would have joined those women walking off the court. So, you probably won't see an American flag in my front yard. Um, I have high hopes. I have high hopes. I haven't lost hope. I haven't abandoned the country. But am I proud of it right now? No. I'm ashamed. All right, you guys have a good Sunday.